Hey book club, Dan here from One Man Book Club. I've got a one minute book review for you today of The Hero in the Crown by Robin McKinley. This book has dragons. Now when I read The Blue Sword, which is Robin McKinley's pioneering young adult fantasy novel, I said that any story that features a strong girl who wields a magic sword and rides a cool horse is not gonna have to work very hard to win me over. Well, add dragons? And it's going to have to be a pretty bad book for me to not enjoy it. Luckily, this was not a bad book. It was actually a fantastic book. I think the American Library Association must like dragons too, because this was the winner of the Newbery Medal in 1985. Now, I think there's a lot of 80s kids who read The Hero and the Crown years ago and loved it then. We still have an emotional connection to it today. I can totally relate. I bet you can too. We all have these emotional connections to the books that we loved when we were kids. Now, I thought the blue sword and the hero and the crown were wonderful. They were a little slow and introspective when it comes to what we might find in today's young adult offerings. And the intensity doesn't quite match what we've come to expect from the genre either. But it was awesome and an exciting experience reading the story that paved the way for the strong female-led young adult adventure series of today. Now, all the elements of young adult are in here. You could probably guess them. The dead mom, the ugly girl who doesn't know she's beautiful, um, a prophecy, an outsider protagonist, uh, late blooming superpowers, strong female characters, a truly evil bad guy, even a tame love triangle. It's all here, everything you can expect, and for good reason. I mean, these are the elements that allow for the character development that make our heroes grow into heroes. Plus, there's dragons. Now, The Blue Sword was published first, but The Hero and the Crown comes chronologically first. And I actually had this internal debate while I was reading it the whole time, trying to decide which one should I recommend you read first. And I decided it just doesn't matter. It's about the same group of people living in the same land, just generations apart from each other. Um, so read either one you want first. They're essentially two different standalone novels. Uh, Content-wise, there's no concerns. I would say best for 12 and up. Uh, maybe 14 and up, unless your 12-year-old is going to be okay with a little bit of a, a slower pace than they might be used to. But otherwise, great for all audiences. Um, the Hero in the Crown. Happy reading, everyone.